بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أي الأحباب May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and you and bless us and you and love us and love you. I mean, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Ayol Ahbab, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us boundaries. And if we observe those boundaries, we can gain the love and forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His protection. For the law, yeah, for them. Per preserve the boundaries of the law. Observe the boundaries of the law, and He will preserve you. He will protect you. Let's listen to a hadith of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, which shows us the importance of doing the obligatory duties. Make sure that you pray. Make sure you fast the holy month of Ramadan. Make sure you do it in accordance with the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Make sure that you have sincerity in all of your actions. And may Allah forgive us of our many shortcomings. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. An Abi Tha'labat al Khushaini, Jurthum ibn Nashir, radiyallahu ta'ala anhu. عن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال إن الله تعالى فرض فرائد فلا تضيعوها وهد هدود فلا تعتدوها تعتدوها وحرم أشياء فلا تنتح تنتح تنتحكوها وسقط عن أشياء رحمة لكم غير النسيان فلا تبحثوا عنها حديث حسن رواه درقتني وغيره. In this hadith of the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم, he said that verily Allah the Almighty has made obligatory upon us the obligatory duties. So do not become careless with them or waste them. Make sure you do your duties. And he has made prohibitions and boundaries. So do not transgress them. And he has made prohibitions, so do not indulge in them. And he was silent on some things as a mercy to you. And he did not forget, meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is aware of all things. So he, he was silent about some things as a mercy for us. And he didn't forget. So do not search for those things. Meaning those things which Allah was silent on in the Sharia. And the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Don't indulge excessively about those things. Trying to, to make them haram. Ayol Ahbab. One of the things we learned from this hadith is to be cautious about the boundaries of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and striving our utmost to avoid his prohibitions and to do his commandments and keep within the bounds of the Sharia avoiding extremism because extremism ayyul ahbab is transgressing those bounds it's going beyond the bounds of the Sharia doing those things, ordering those things, striving in those matters with the Sharia did not tell us to do. 
going beyond the bounds in the hudud of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ayol Ahbab, may Allah bless us to be balanced. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ilman nafi rizqan tayyibu amanu mutaqabbilin. So that way we know the boundaries of Allah. And we understand those boundaries and we don't transgress those boundaries. And may Allah forgive us of our many sins and our shortcomings. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.